with the key. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Why is there no music? I don't like that. That's very foreboding. I feel like there's gonna be a boss. Is there gonna be a boss? Oh, hey look! A cutscene! And no music! Foreboding silence. Great. This boss is fun and has a cool theme. Leaf, don't try to scare us! That's not Leaf! Correct. That's not even how we speak. That's Roach dialect. This place is not for bugs. Leave or be buried. D did you need to scream as well? Well, yes. Uh, just one more warning on the heap. Let's get that artifact. Dude, okay. I'm going to do this, but keep in mind it's five in the morning. on Three times. Oh shit, he actually meant literally buried alive, uh oh. Is he a roach mummy? He is a roach mummy. Oh, he has the Necronomicon, uh oh. Is that a roach? It's just a fancy cursed cloth. We can feel it, its magic is just like ours. Our answers must be here, we won't be stopped by it. Not what I expected. Okay, mysterious. I like it for now until you turn out to be a massive pile of shit and I hate you. Okay. Yeah, let the music kick in. Ooh, okay. It's a little bit different than what I expected, honestly. Hits an enemy twice with needles dealing piercing damage. Must target the first grounded enemy. Grounded enemy. So is he floating or can I hit him with that? Plus, I don't know what it is, so I want to capitalize on this as much as possible. Okay, the D-pads on the, uh, PlayStation controller are honestly not the best for that move, if I'm being honest. They're not as receptive. So I'm guessing that this floating man with the Necronomicon and the Dark Cloth of Evil Death is the boss, right? It's called the Watcher, okay. What do you watch, dude? Grey's Anatomy? Uh... Okay... Oh, I see, okay, it's just to deter me from being able to hit him with certain attacks, yes? Is that what I'm getting out of this? So this is just an obstacle, yeah? Okay, so if it's just an obstacle, then... Oh shit, I suck so bad. Yes, okay, it's just an obstacle, alright. Hold on, hold on a minute. She's not sweating, so I can do Hurricane again. That did quite a bit of damage to him. Grey's Anatomy is good? I didn't say it wasn't. I just said this guy likely watches it, because he's called The Watcher. I just don't know if he has a Netflix account. Or, like, what he's got going on. Oh, now he's in combat mode. Uh-oh. That's not good. Hey, what's up, Spawn? How's it going, man? Good evening, sir. Pleasure to see you, as usual. Hopefully your afternoon or your morning is going great. I have no idea where the fuck you're from, so it's probably one of the two. Okay, I don't have any TP, so I probably shouldn't have done that, but I can at least attack on this turn. And get the most benefit out of that. God damn, why did I fuck that up? Nice. Okay, I'm really good at blocking his attacks, so that's good. Seeing as how I don't have a peg for them at all. Okay, so I'm going to use an item with him, and if I have anything that will give me a buttfuck ton of FP or whatever it's called, I'm going to do that. 6 TP, okay, that's fine. But she's full health, damn it. Do I have an item that's just TP? I knew I should have bought one. Okay, alright, you know what, that's good enough. That's fine. Alright, so let me swap to V and smack him with the big dick, big dick attack again. Rinse out all my TP again, that's fine. He's getting fucked up, though. This dude is definitely not as hard as, uh, Astothelis was, although maybe I haven't seen his phase 2 yet. Okay, hold on. I don't have any more TP, but Leaf isn't gonna be able to do a lot of damage to him, so... Let me use... a Nutty Cake... on you. I don't need the health, but I do need the TP quite bad. Oh, okay. That's an ice wall. 
Alrighty then. So hold on. If I'm thinking about this strategically, I should use Empower on her. And then I should use her ability. To hit the ice wall. And get it out of the way. So I can then attack with you and do some damage. Good move. Good shit. A sand pillar. So I'm guessing the sand pillar has the exact same effect as the ice wall, but maybe it takes less damage or something to get rid of. Possibly. So I'm going to need another nutty cake, but I really don't want to use another nutty cake if I can help it. Everybody's doing fine on health. The ice cube is not going to do anything. She has one more turn, so I don't want to use the shroom on her. Doing the Hustleberry will do nothing for me. I think I'm just gonna have to blow another nutty cake on my girl, dude. I'd argue that this isn't even the boss of this chapter. I'd go as far as to say that you unlock after him is what C4 should have been. He watches after his firstborn child by wrapping him in tin foil to protect him from the UV rays while making him extra crispy, yes. Also, there's a reason why the Ancient Society or whatever is a bunch of roaches, and it's a fun reasoning. Yeah, I figured it was something lore-based. I've been wondering about that ever since the beginning of the game with the cavern. So, the issue here that I'm gonna have is... If I hit the wall with Leaf, I don't think it's gonna break it. So I'm not gonna get the most damage out of V. But maybe this is a good chance to... Break down the wall, and then I can attack him with Leaf and see what Leaf's damage capabilities are on him. This might be a good chance for that. Two, okay. So he's not the best to attack with. Oh shit. Oh fuck, I couldn't tell who he's targeting there. Alright, that's fine. That actually gives me a bonus, so... I'm going to use another Nutty Cake now. And this time, I'm going to use it with Leaf. No, actually, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to use it with V. And I'm going to use the Nutty Cake on Kabu. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Leaf to empower him. And then I'm going to do a heavy strike and make him do a fuck ton of damage. And this guy's going to wish he'd never been born. Because I'm about to fuck this man's life up. Really bad. And he's about to wish he had not fucked with me. Seven fucking damage. Eat it, chief. Ouch. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I can take your insults. I can take your savagery. I'm not worried about it. Okay, so while Kabu is frozen, I'm just gonna use this on Kabu. And that just keeps him frozen. Oh shit, that keeps him frozen for longer though. Okay, I didn't know it worked like that. Shit, I was trying to be strategic there. Hold on, so if I use a Hustleberry on Kabu, can I get him out of the ice sooner? Curious. Fuck! Oh shit! Fuck! That is no bueno, dude. Oh my god. You suck so much. Fuck, that's bad. That is not good. Kabu's the only dude that can res people too. Shit, that sucks. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I'm not worried. After all that shit I talked, let's get it, Chief. Let's get it, bro. I ain't afraid of you. I ain't afraid of no roach ghosts. Oh, shit. Dude, how bullshit do you get? Fuck. Shit, dude. Oh my god, that is so trash. That is absolutely not fair. Oh my god. I think I might actually die here, guys. I'm not kidding, I think I might actually die here. Jesus fuck, dude. This is rough. This is fucking hard. Eat 
he's not dead, dude. I'm screwed. I think I'm fucked, guys. I don't think I can do this. Fuck me, man. Even with items, I couldn't beat him. I'm sorry, girl. I tried. I don't know what they want me to do, dude. And their tale was never finished. Yeah, no shit. After I made fun of his funny accent, too. That's brutal. I can understand why you bid it to him on hard mode, though. If this guy is this difficult on normal... Oh, I did have the cleanse ability. Shit, maybe I should've used that. Okay, Leaf is gonna be pure support. I don't think I'm gonna use him for any sort of attacking. I feel like that's a waste of his turn, so... Let me empower V as well. And then I can use both Kabu and V to fuck him up really fast. I'm just gonna dish a ton of damage to him right out the gate. I'm just gonna put him in dire straits like as soon as possible. And now I can get better use out of the nutty cakes as well. So now that he has his defense boosted, I don't want to hit him with anybody that doesn't have an empowered attack. So, let me use empower with leaf on V. And then, I was going to use a hustle berry, but I think I got to use another nutty cake. So I can give her the uh, TP she needs to be able to do her special moves. Let's go Hurricane again. Hurricane seems to be doing me quite well. It's a lot of damage. Okay, now he does the Crystal Wall again. That's okay, though. So that gives me time to empower my team and do items for support. But I don't want to use his team. And I don't want to waste V's turn, either. So I think what I'm going to do... ...is... Kabu needs a Nutty Cake as well, so I'm gonna use a Nutty Cake on Kabu. And then I'm gonna have him ram the wall down and hit him at the same time. Get some damage in there. The wall's gonna go away, and then I can use V to smack him again for some heavy damage. I'm really trying to strategize this time. I'm trying to like really, really, really strategize now that I know what he's capable of doing. So I don't want to go with V yet, but I want to use Kabu for damage as well. But I can't do it in power and... hold on, okay. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do a Honey Drop. And then I'm going to use Leaf to empower Kabu, I think. And then I can use Kabu to do a Heavy Strike. And knock this fucker for a loop. So I'm gonna wait to heal V with my uh, big healy wheelie automobile that I got. Oh, can I dig him out of the sand? Oh shit, but I need TP for that. Okay. Kabu doesn't need health though. V does. So I might as well get some TP and a heal out of it, because I'm not gonna be able to do anything with Leaf anyway, so I might as well do that. Oh, and then you know what I can do? I can use a Hustleberry on Leaf. So he can get an extra buff in, and then I can do an understrike here. 
Nice. Okay. Fuck you, suck. It's that extra turn shit that really fucking gets me, honestly. It's the extra turn shit. So I don't have any more TP now. This is Kabu. He's capable of big damage, but I need to keep Leaf alive to buff my party, otherwise I'm gonna be screwed on damage. So... Yeah, I know I got him in phase two. I'm pretty good at determining that kind of thing. Oh, this is my last turn, shit. But I'm not gonna be able to do any damage with V if I try to attack him, so... I'm going to use a Nutty Cake on Kabu. so fast. Okay, now I can use the dash through on Kabu, but before I do that, I'm going to use Leaf. Actually, no, I'm going to use V first. Because if I use V, then I can do a Nutty Cake on Kabu, because... No, I'm going to do a Nutty Cake on Leaf, actually. And then I can use Empower on Kabu with Leaf. And then I can have Kabu do his charge through. Smack him for a fucking loop again. Get rid of the ice wall at the same time. Block that. Good. Fuck. A little bit too early on that. Son of a bitch. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. That's fine. He has his defense going, so... I need to heal V with a nutty cake, though, and I do need the fucking TP, so... And now V still gets a turn, but I don't want to waste the Tornado Toss, because if it happens to do no damage, I'm going to be fucked, which is going to be bad. I guess I'll risk it for a Biscuit. Nice. Good damage. Nice! Fuck you, you bastard! Eat that shit, bitch! Fucking wimp. He must have been, like, so close to dead on the first go-around, dude. Tell us, how did you get your magic? Who did this to you? Yeah, go cry yourself to sleep, bitch. Yeah, I played really well that round. I only got hit by, like, what, one of his attacks? Curses. Hey, look, it's the artifact. Don't despair yet, Leaf. It may hold some answers. Go get it before I do. This isn't the artifact. It's a fruity pebble. What? Then what could it be? We don't know, but this doesn't have the same feeling as the others. Bug Fables, the everlasting quest for the actual fucking artifact. Maybe it's up ahead? I really hope there's not another cloth. Yeah, me too. There must be a reason the stone is here, though. Let us ask Neo later, for now we've got to push through. Yummy little fruit gummy? Yeah, it's a Scooby-Doo fruity snack. Yeah, that boss was fucking rough, dude. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually, like, genuinely challenging. Oh, there's the artifact thing I was looking for. Fuck yeah. In the Prison of Ice? Last, the final artifact. Ha! We did it! We're going into the Hall of Fame! It's incredible, we must say. These have been sought after since Elizon's time. It was only through our combined efforts that it was possible. You guys can chat it up later. Let's take it and get that reward. No shit, dude. That guy was rough. That guy was no bueno. You have found the other ancient half. Nice. Key to the Door of Time? Cool. At least you can get introduced to the antagonist now, so hope you like him. Ooh. Braving the desert once more, Team Snake Mouth searched for the last artifact. The team explored the Roach Ruins and uncovered the hideout of the infamous Lost Sand Bandits. An ambush shone a worrying light on Leaf's condition, but in the end, the last artifact was collected. 
Is the everlasting sapling within reach? I don't know, is it? Can it finally be within reach? No, this game has like, what, 10 chapters? How is she holding the key? It's like double her size because she's got gains, bro. It's kind of sad, though. I wanted to keep on treasure hunting. We still got to get the sapling. And help Leaf on his quest. Right. We've got to get back to Neo. Let's go turn this in. Would you like to save? No, I just fought the fucking floating man with the death cloth. With the magic and the fucking... Hubba da hubba da hubba da fucking Necronomicon shit. No, I don't want to save.